this is the time, heaven on earth. I think the people that are making that gap smaller and smaller, bringing the joys of heaven onto the earth, that's that's what I'm looking for. Those are the people that I want to team up with. I want to team up with those light workers that are making this reality, this physical reality, as joyous as heaven could be. Squirrel in the tree, is he watching me? Does he give a damn? Does he care who I am? I'm just a man, is that all I am? All my man is misinterpreted words are only human, I'm human. Murderous crow, hey, what you know? This is our challenge. We've got all the resources in the world, literally, to make this heaven on earth. We could be free from hunger, free from sickness, absolutely free from sickness, by eating organic foods that we grow ourselves, and free from wage slavery. We're at it. We're on the ball, and we're spreading the message online. We're getting it out there. We're inspiring others. Once this message crosses the mind of someone, they know that it's right. To live their own life, but we keep We're coming from love. We're using. Love is the energy. I mean, what burns inside here is so powerful that all those men and women out there that are trying to control other people, they know it. They know they have nothing against it. They've got nothing against it. I was just doing it close to family. Because in the near future, I think that's going to be really important to have those kind of ties and that kind of support to keep things comfortable. It's really about the numbers. And it's really about the planning and the design and being able to shelter yourself from potential emergencies if food shortages happen and stuff isn't able to be shipped without being really expensive. All alone it grows above With the heart of love A sharp and shelter of The animals of land and cold Where they're breathing We're all breathing The planet's talking about And we'll give it a good wash And eating these that just came out of the ground 30 minutes ago Compared to something that's been in a grocery store Oh, the sun's coming in Look at that, it's nice Wow, I love it flowers on this thing. The bees are loving it. This is going to be a massive tree. Tired from all the negativity within the environmental movement. It was just really paralyzing me, really dragging me down. Uh, it kept me from thinking about positive solutions. All, all I was doing was wanting to boycott this company or, or not support this company, not eat meat, uh, recycle, something like that. But it wasn't really anything proactive. Like, planting as many edible plants as possible or you know inspiring others to do the same and showing people a, a path towards getting themselves uh, basically way more independent you know that's a whole different thing so I'm, I'm always thinking about those ideas positive We're going to plant some of these gumi trees. We have a, a sweet scarlet and a red gem. And I want to put one on the left of me right here, kind of when you walk into the door. Behind us we have a grapevine, and then we have a hachia persimmon. Okay, here she is. A lot of happiness. <laughs> it's really up to us though, that's for sure. It's up to us. They've had all the time. Now it's our turn. Here I want to plant hardy kiwis from Siberia. Murderous crow, what you know? 
What you raving about? What you hold in your toes? Is that a twig? Are you a dove a piece? Black dove undercover with another puzzle piece? Are you a riddle to solve all along, or am I overthinking thoughts? I'm human after all. If anything, it's going to be permaculture that's going to free us. Not a politician or a corporation. It's going to be us planting perennials and and veggies and fruits and just getting our hands dirty, liberating ourselves, investing in land, investing in precious metals. That's the key. It's taking the the future into our own hands. That's permaculture. Only you.